This video is sponsored by Pet Life Radio, the number one pet podcast and radio network, featuring weekly pet-related talk shows hosted by the most well-known pet experts, authors, radio, and TV personalities in the world of animals and pets. PetLifeRadio.com. Let's talk pets. Hey everybody, thanks again for checking out another one of our videos. First and foremost, want to do a special shout out and special thank you. CD, thanks for all of your support right from Jump Street. Stacy, GV Girl, and most recently, Matilde Young's son. Uh, she left a great comment. Apparently, I am the uh, Bob Ross of dog grooming. So, um, hmm, I'll take that any day of the week. Maybe uh, he'll have a special tree that he might want to pee on. Um, you know, after the grooming, maybe I might even want to pee on. I mean, it's just my world, it's our world, and um, guys, you know what? Let me stop channeling Bob Ross, let's get to the video. In this video, we're just gonna show another clipping out of under the eyes, uh, using the clippers as opposed to the thinning shears. Okay, everybody, once again, we got the sweet uh, little Bailey on the table here, and we figured we'd just show you another under the eyes trimming. Um, and in this video, what I want you guys to notice is that, you know, he's got a lot of staining under here. Uh, some people, a lot of you guys have suggested certain things, spring water, uh, you know, cleaning out under the eyes with, with, with uh, water, and uh, there's other things, there's diamond eye. There's a lot of products out there that might help with that staining, but regardless of that, uh, in the grooming, we want to get that look out. Uh, but what I want to point out here is that, Yes, you can do this with the thinning shears, but there's not much hair there. And in a lot of cases, you're, it's actually more dangerous to use the thinning shears because it's not like the thinning shears can't grab that skin. And if you're trying to get in there really, really tight, you're gonna grab the eyelid, you're gonna, you, you know, you, you, there's, you're more prone to an accident. But with that being said, we're, we're gonna use the clippers. I, I, I like the clippers, I like, um, uh, the, the safety, but if you're not comfortable with the clippers, because again, there's always that risk factor. You don't want to catch the corner of the eye or anything with the clipper. It's you know it's going to be very unforgiving, and you are going to cut the dog, and that's the last spot you really want to cut a dog is by his eye. Uh, but if you're careful about it and you are uh, trained or experienced in using the clipper, by all means, you guys know what I'm talking about. But again, if you're not comfortable using the clipper, don't do it. Um, use the thinning shears or use a, a blunt uh, a pair of scissors. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and, and clip out underneath the eye here and we're going to get that staining out. Okay, so I'm going to turn my clippers on. We're using a number 10 blade here. So just going to kind of place and scoop like that and then we're using the corner of the clipper too so just kind of scooping right out and away from the eye just like that and we're going to kind of work this way now i'm going to come forward on this but again i i, I know what i'm doing so I'm, I'm being very very careful here and okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to get this side so i'm kind of reaching over and another scoop right there and then a little divot and scoop okay back on this side back on this side okay barely good boy again as we always say guys dogs vary um you know, Bailey's really good at this, and uh, he comes to us all the time. So, it might be a little bit more difficult with certain dogs. What I'm doing too is, you notice, I'm just, I'm just holding his chin. I'm not pulling on his fur. I'm just holding him so that, you know, he's not jolting his head around, and, keep, and I'm keeping him safe. There we go, Bailey. What a good boy. What a good boy, bud. It's okay. Oh, man. You're so sweet, buddy. There you go. So, real quick, guys, that's all we wanted to do is just clip that out. It takes, literally takes seconds. Um, and again, because it's quick, there's just less of a chance of, 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 of hitting 
him with the thinners because you know with the thinning shears it's a much slower process you're going to be sitting there doing snip after snip after snip and if the dog does jolt you know that now you're gonna you know you're gonna catch the eye or something like that so um, and in a lot of cases don't get me wrong I we use the thinner too but in this case um, being that it's a quick little thing you know, use the clippers uh, much safer uh, quicker and uh, just and you get you get a nicer finish too it's a, you, you could never get this as short with the thinning shears as you do with the clipper so yep with that being said guys thank you so much once again for checking out another one of our videos as always guys like share subscribe like us on facebook instagram twitter please check out our radio show it's called groomer humor we're going to leave that link down below on behalf of me anthony and the beautiful bob ross my friends thank you once again and god bless